G'day folks, Rich Burdess from Brighter Days and Sunny Christchurch. First day of spring here in September 2023, but we're just going to roll out with a quick tutorial on how to use Power Automate to create app mentions in Microsoft Teams. Uh, use case here could be if you want to just send notifications when something's happened rather than sending approval. Just want to advise people that it's happening or something's happened and you need to tell them. Today's tutorial, we're going to step through how you can send it to an individual user or how you can send it to a group of people to add mention multiple people at the same time. A couple of pitfalls with sending it via a, a group of people if you're using a dynamic group or something. Um, so I'll step you through how to make sure that you're going to send the right people at the right time. All right, let's crack into it. Cool, so we're just going to start this off fresh. Uh, we're going to basically go with, um, you can pick any of the Cloudflow um, triggers we're going to go with instant just because it's a lot easier for a tutorial but if you imagine it automated when something changes in a message or a news feed changes you can mention the right people or if there's a schedule and you're looking at the data source looking for different news different articles that happened and you need to reference things and tell people about what's happened um, that could be a good one as well so let's go with instant all right manually trigger and then at mentions demo cool so what's going to happen um, in this the Microsoft team, um, if I click over to that, uh, I've got a team called training and then I'm going to basically pop up a message which is going to mention me. I'll see it in Teams as a basically as an activity and my name's referenced there um, and I can put whatever detail I want to there as well. Um, so we'll start off with a single and then we'll go to a multiple. Okay, so let's crack into that. If you haven't used um, Power that much, basically you're going to want to click the plus sign, click choose an operation and then in here, uh, select Teams or type in Teams. It may show up as one of your um, standard connectors at right at the start, but if it's not, um, then just look, search for it. And there's a lot of actions you can pick from in Teams. What you're going to want to look for is token. Ooh, spell token right. Um, and then there's a couple of different types of tokens you can use. We're going to use for a user. So get an at mention token for a user. Select that. And then here we can inject anyone's email address that's in that team mention them right or to send a message to any like it's a random user just in doesn't need to be in a chat it can be just a straight um, at mention uh, we'll show we'll be posting to a channel in the team um, just to keep it nice and clean and tidy but I could just send out a random message to a person if I needed to all right mate, here we go so let's just type in a name cool and that will get a token that I can then reuse in the, any subsequent actions in Teams. So go back into choose an operation and then to post the message I want to go Teams again, look for Teams or there and then let's just do post. And so I've got a few options to post, do it that with cards if I want to, but today I'm just going to go with a simple easy peasy one, post message in chat or channel. Um, and you can select who you want to be, it can be me um, or it can be the Flowbot, we'll be the Flowbot just because it's fun. Uh, and we're going to post into a channel could be a whole bunch of options as well today's a channel wait for things to load select your team select the power platform team and then we're going to do training this is our training channel and then here's our message main thing to remember for the message is you're going to want to use the at mention dynamic content so that the person is actually notified so click that to add it into the message it's live because I'm putting in typos save that wait for however long it takes to save and then we can push test and see how that happens it's a manual one first time I've created this so let's just run it manually accept the connection to the team run the flow cool and that's run click done um, this should reload with the message. I've just got a ping in my phone saying I've got a message as well. And if I go over to Teams, I'm just using the web version of Teams, but it will happen in the desktop version as well. Um, and there's my here. Here is a new message just for you, um, which just happened at 11.19. Um, and there will be activity um, that will pop up here as well. It just hasn't shown up yet. Um, what we'll do next is we'll extend this workflow to show how I can send a message to a bunch of people. I could look, look through a list of people, an array of people. I just need email addresses of people that have got access to this team and are people that I can actually at mention in the team. That's important 
Um, if I go and look at the members of the Power Platform group, uh, they need to have, um, as you can see here, I've got me as my Outlook, me as another uh, guest user. So those accounts are not going to be able to do an app mention to. So if I'll show, I'll, I'll step through the how that what would happen, but you basically your workflow will fail because uh, it won't be able to app mention those particular accounts. So we can filter out those people before we send it. So we don't need to make too many changes, but we do need to be aware that we need to be picking active valid accounts. I think everyone here is an active account, but we'll just we'll test this workflow again uh, with a group and then we'll see how it can run. All right, so to change your workflow to extend it to have multiple people, you're gonna wanna first of all add in a string um, variable. And I'm just gonna initialize that variable, call it var mentions sure it's selected as a string just leave it blank um, obviously best practice change the name of the variable so you know what up is up here as well if you're going to do multiples uh, all right so initialize the variable and then we're going to do if i do m365 then i can find office 365 groups and then i'm going to go list group members and then from here i can select my group So that takes an action, grab, we'll grab all the people that I need to, and then we'll do add an action, uh, and then we're going to do a control apply to each member of the group. So in the action there, I just want to select the value from list group members. And then what we'll do is, I'll show you how this would fail first of all, do a token. And so the main thing of this is a token, it's for a user, it's not for users, but we can put them into a string because it does come through in Teams as a string. So basically get a mention token for a user, select that, and then we'll take the mail. You could take the user principal name, we'll take the mail for this, for this one, and then get all of the people, and then as we get them, drop them into the variable. So to do that, we're going to type append or append, append. Sometimes it works with a few words. Sometimes you've got to type the whole thing. So append a string variable, select the var mentions variable, and then drop in this at mention. If you leave it like that, all of your at mentions will be squashed together. So it's good to just put a couple spaces in there. All right, so then we've built this variable. Um, I'll remove this at mention because I just clean that up. And then for the poster channel, I'm going to put the new variable mentions there. Have a little space. Get rid of the demo. I'll just say demo only because this will mention my people. Okay, let's save that. All right, so then I can test it. Well, we know it's going to fail, so it's not going to actually post the message. But I'll just show you why why that would why it would fail. I'll just click that, accept all the, the run mentions, and then go for it. Click done. Wait for the red. Cool. We've got to run there because my external account isn't able. It's not really a Microsoft account. Um, such that's not going to work. So how do we fix that? Um, best way or the easiest way if you've got that um, issue pop up is to put a condition into your apply to each. So then we can filter out um, the people we don't want to have in um, in our app mention. So let's put a condition. So if I click choose an operation, one of the first ones that shows up is condition. Select that. And then we're going to do um, for all of the people that come in, basically the mail. And then we're going to say if it ends with, and then pick your um, tenant. Okay, so if everybody is there that ends with it, let's just move these down. So can I move them down? Can I move them down? No, let's just move this up. Cool. Got that. And then if they've got a Friday Days account, 
I can put them in there and then run. So let's run this one and check. Main, main thing here, the reason why it could fail is if you've got people in your group that you haven't removed from your system um, because they've left the company. So let's just test this and see. Cool, and then I just heard everyone's phones go off in the office because they've all just got a mention from me. They'll love me for it. I'm sure they will. Um, so what's happened is we've gone through, and then you can see in here, basically everyone that's in there is at mentioned with a little space between each name as well, and they've just got a message there. So thanks, team. And then in the team, you can see everyone's mentioned here, and they've all just got a notification from me um, that I've done that to them. Isn't it fun being able to run demos and show people how things work um, in the office? So that was a quick um, step through of how to use at mentions in Power Automate with the Teams connector. Um, I hope that's useful. Um, let me know how you get on with it. If you've got any questions, please ask. I will respond. Cheers. Bye.